Hello again. This is Aaron, and I'm here to demonstrate the second installment of DeciWiki Basics. Today I'll be focusing on advanced tools that DeciWiki provides users and administrators for organizing and finding information. As always, you can download DeciWiki at getdeciwiki.com. It's free to use and installs in about 15 minutes. Of course, there are support plans available if you're so inclined. Let's get right into the demonstration now. So often I hear when I'm out at shows or just talking to people about wikis that, you know, wikis are great for creating content uh, and sharing content as long as you're going to send somebody the URL to the page. However, once they get content into a wiki, it's very difficult to then go back and find what they've contributed. This is the case for most wikis. However, with DeciWiki, we provide some very advanced and useful tools for organizing information which helps you to find what you're looking for. And then also, we have a really powerful search engine. So I'm going to show you some of these today. So first of all, let's talk about the search engine. With DeciWiki, unlike most other wikis out there, it comes with a, an enterprise class search engine called Lucene that's supported and backed by the Apache Foundation. So when you search, I'm going to search for XAMPP, uh, what you'll find is that DeciWiki will return results on pages within the wiki, uh, files, even the contents of files, and then also with specific users. So here you can see that there's a XAMPP installation guide that's been authored by a person, and then also a Word document that's been attached. So it's pulling out contents from the file, the title of the file also, in fact, but it does search the contents of the, of the uh, file. And um, also you can see that this particular user must be a XAMPP expert of sorts because he's, he's authored content on this topic. So currently, we index the contents of all Microsoft Office files, Open Office files, PDFs, PHP files, XML files, XS, on and on and on. Quite a few files do we index the contents of. So let's return back to the home page, and let's go into the next uh, advanced organization tool that most wikis uh, uh, lack, which is taxonomies. Users can define hierarchies. They can define a taxonomy and then represent it as a, a hierarchy of pages. So here you can see I clicked on articles and video, and what you see is, that it has subpages. So then I can jump down and drill into this page. What is SOTA? So it's very easy for users to create these hierarchies of information, which is very natural to us humans. You know, we understand an org chart. We understand a family tree. And with DeciWiki, one can predefine a taxonomy and then capture information by adhering to that taxonomy. But it's very easy to move the contents of pages or entire hierarchies. You just simply select the page that you'd like to move then select Move, and then browse to the location that you'd like the page to be moved to, and then hit Move Page, or click Move Page. It's that simple. So when you move a page, it also moves its sub-children, or its sub-pages. So it makes it very easy to move around large chunks of content. Also, DeciWiki allows users to permission pages and their sub-pages. So users can come in and permission entire hierarchies. That makes Another reason why hierarchies are critically important in enterprises, it makes managing permissions of large sets of pages very, very easy to do. So the next thing I want to discuss is what I think of as chronologies. So this is the ability for DeciWiki to present to you as a user content that's been contributed in anti-chronological order, meaning the most recent comes to the top. So you can see that Dimitri's page was edited. You can see what pages were edited, by whom, and then we provide a nice little auto-generated summary. So this is a great way of just getting the pulse of your community and understanding what is it that people are working on, what is it that people are talking about. But let's say I want to get more granular. I'd like to see what a specific user has contributed to DeciWiki. So here I just want to see Dimitri. So here's all the contributions of Dimitri since he started with the company. So you can see that the pages he's edited, again, the dates, and then also the comments. This is really powerful. Let's say that Dimitri was promoted and I'm taking over his position. In that case, I would be able to come in and mine DeciWiki for all the information related to me, or all of the contributions that Dimitri's done. And because DeciWiki allows you to put information in context, I'll give you an example of this, it, it makes it really, really powerful for a person to come in and Mine, it, mine that information. It's very easy to do. For example, with DeciWiki, one can put videos and text and presentations and attach files. So in that way, in, in just a cursory glance, an individual can determine, is this relevant information to me or not? And then move on. It's very different from what you would expect from 
other collaboration tools like, say, SharePoint, where it's more of a file-centric interface. Uh, in that case, you know, it's like looking through my documents. As you know, if you look through somebody else's My Documents directory, it's basically impossible for you to mine that information. So let's move on to the next advanced tool for organizing information, and that's watched pages. So every individual user can watch pages. And what this means is when changes are made to the page, you're automatically notified of these changes. Here's the web interface for My Watched Pages. Another interface for it is RSS feeds. DeckyWiki cuts RSS feeds six ways from Sunday. So we cut feeds on individual users' contributions, individual users' watch lists, and then also a global RSS feed for the entire site. So the last tool that I want to cover today is tagging. So let's jump over to the, uh, the DeckyWiki page in o MindTouch Open Garden, and let's take a look at the tags. So this is about DeckyWiki, and beneath it is our release cycle, and it's, it's all very developer-y, um, uh, pretty technical stuff. But let's say I want to tag this page. So we do some pretty unique things with tags. Notice that you can define a tag so that when you define this page as DeckyWiki, all other pages that are tagged there will be presented. And then you can also define chronal date tags. So for example, I'll just say date colon today. So I'm going to update the tags, and we'll take a look at this. In the next session of, of DeckyWiki Basics, I'm actually going to go really deep into tagging. So I'm just going to barely touch the surface here. So here you can see the tags that are, are present on this page, and then also the pages that are related to this because of those tags. So just to recap, DeckyWiki has a very powerful enterprise class search engine. You can search the contents of files. Also, DeckyWiki allows users to define taxonomies that are very flexible and can change because, as you know, as soon as you define a taxonomy, it immediately begins to entropy. With DeckyWiki, it's very easy to combat that because it's so easy to move content around. The next thing is it's very easy to be notified of changes or find information uh, based on a user's contributions, a watch list, a chronology of recent changes. And then lastly, it's easy for users to collaboratively create folksonomies by tagging. So very easy to find content with DeckyWiki, very easy to manage and organize content with DeckyWiki. Uh, this is dramatically different from other applications that are out there in the wiki space. And we hope you enjoy it. Download today. It takes about five minutes to install. GetDeckyWiki.com. Thanks for your time.